Hi folks and welcome to today's video which is kind of experimental. I bought a load of Zuzu track and accessories off eBay and it's just arrived. So I already had this part of the track network where the electronic pets go up an incline then over a bridge and down the other side and out. But with the extra track that I've got, I've got this wheel that they can go into as well. And I only had one of the circular things, which I think they call rooms. So I've got two extra, some more tubes and this little house thing that you can put them into at the end. So in a previous video, I showed how the two Zuzu pets on the right could go up the incline and get over the bridge and the goopy guinea pig the all brown electronic pet there that could also get up the incline and this brown and white hamster i only unboxed that last week and i haven't tried it out yet on inclines so i'll see if it can get up an incline and i found in a previous video that the large orange hamster the zuru hamster in the middle here that couldn't get up an incline and the mice couldn't get up an incline or these two small hamsters towards the front. So what I'm going to do today is, first of all, I'm going to try the Zuzu pets, see if they can get all the way around this new expanded track, see if they can use the wheel that's just come, see if the goopy guinea pig can also get around the extended track and the new wheel that's come see how this hamster fares going all the way around and then I'll reset the truck take all the inclines out and see if any of these electronic pets can get all the way around when it's all on the flat so Paul's going to assist me in this experiment aren't you Paul? I am he's going to work on the loading bay you thought that was a much better description of it, didn't you, Paul? The yeah, it looks, house. looks like a loading bay, doesn't it? <laughs> so we're going to start with the Zuru pets and see how they fare. Which are those two, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So this was this is actually made for Zuzu pets, and this is a Zuzu pet. But it's fallen down at the first uh, hurdle. We're going to try the other Zuzu pet now. Here's the next Zuzu pet. Ah, and yeah, we've got uh, uh, another false start. Try Goopy Guinea Pig next. And the exact same thing happens to Goopy Guinea Pig. So I think we'll ditch that loading bay because it's not a loading bay at all okay trying it without the loading bay and it's off oh, yes. oh got into the next one the magic dust <laughs> oh. Oh, that. oh that's gone into that one Back into that one. Oh, 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 yes. So it's made it into the wheel. Oh, it's, oh, it's come, come back, back out. out. Successful, that. It's been in all three of the home circles. Up the slope. Over the bridge, down the slope, and into the wheel. Oh, oh, here it comes! Hey. Here it comes! Fantastic! Oh, I spoke too soon. It's just fallen over. So we tried the purple Spin Master Zuzu pet next. I've never actually heard it me sing that song before. But started singing that insane song 
and we presume that this means it needs new batteries. Okay, so we've got fresh batteries in the Spin Master Zuzu Pet. This one's having a lot more trouble than the original sepia Zuzu pet. Yay. That's got over it. It's not exactly flying round that <laughs> wheel, is it? It also doesn't look like it's going to be able to get out the wheel. It doesn't, does it? No. I think we'll end it there for the Spin Master Zuzu pet. So next we're trying Goopy Guinea Pig. Now Goopy's got stuck at the same bit that the Spin Master Zuzu Pet did. Tap on the um, top pole because it, it responds to noise. So the Goopy's got stuck in several parts. Now last time we had the Goopy in the track it did actually get up the incline but that could have been because it, it works better when there's a few together so we'll try that again later when we've got a few together so the last one to try on the incline is the new hamster it's a lot quicker this one So needed a bit of a helping hand there. Oh wow, look at it on the wheel. Oh, oh. spoke too soon, it's fallen over. So now we're going to put all four of them in together and see if they can sort of nudge each other and help or hinder them. Oh yes, there, that was, oh look at that one now. Oh yes, it's in the second one. There's Goopy. So all three of them's in there now. <laughs> They're not not helping each other at the minute. There's one on its side. Hey! Oh yes. Goopy sent the other one up. <laughs> that looks so funny, that pink one getting on top of the other one. Hey! Give it a show. Yeah. I've never heard it make that noise before. It's coming out with a lot of new noises today. Yes! 
Scoopy's got down as well. <laughs> so I've taken the tube system apart and I've removed the incline and the bridge so that it's all on the flat. And we're going to try these other hamsters and mice in it. But I did find out what this is. It's not any kind of loading bay. What it is is a garage. And you're supposed to put a car in it. This is a specially designed car. The hamsters come in here off the track. And then they go into, automatically go into the car. And the car drives out the garage doors. So that's what that's for. And um, yeah, it got out, got out there all right, didn't Look, it? That one doesn't have any lumps on. Ah, right. Yes, yeah, so we need to have a close examination of all these tubes and see what have got lumps and what haven't got lumps. I think uh, the lumps are something to do with this switch on the proper Zuru hamsters. Oh, right. Right. That way. Yeah, it doesn't like, the, it doesn't like those ridges. Bit of a poor show by yeah, the Zuru Hams. Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> Almost did it. Oh, these mice. <laughs> Good performance. Oh. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing really well, the mice, aren't they? <laughs> they're great, great for bussing round, oh, aren't they, the really, mice? They look great in the tunnels in this uh, little triangle system, yeah. <laughs> look at that! And so those lumps on the track are stopping it again. It's interesting that some of this track's got lumps on them. And some, some hasn't. It hasn't. And I think it's to do with operating this switch yeah, on the bottom. Yeah, but why, we'll to, why we'll do to, they want to operate it sometimes and sometimes they don't? We'll have to investigate that, what that's supposed to do. Mmm. <laughs> so now we're going to try putting the old lot in. <laughs> yeah, what's so great about that one? Why are they all congregating in there? How many's in there? Five, six. <laughs> all of them bar two. Zozo pets managed to get in the wheel. That's the best effort yet, isn't it? Yeah. So Paul's done a more close examination of the tracks and you found out something really fascinating, didn't you, Paul? Mm. That the grooves in the tracks actually operate these little... There seem to be two switches at the switches, front and yeah. one at the back and the grooves yeah. on the track or the little notches on the track operate the two switches at the front. But it seems to actually initiate different sounds from them. It does, yeah. And if that's, you look, why, that's why we're hearing some different sounds from the purple one. And also, if you look closely on the track, uh, there are like, some legends there with arrows on that, say, mm. two bathroom, mm. two bedroom. So, so there's a we, lot more yes, about these. There's than... a lot more about Zuzu pets than we first realised. Mm. And we will definitely be exploring that in a future video. But that's all for this video, folks. Hope you found that entertaining. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.